easily be in a countdown. Referee moved in and yep. stopped Derecki. Derecki could have followed through, so as I said, may feel a little hard done by it, but it's in the history books now. Third and final round, the Gimby, nice one to up the centre. Quarter turn off to his right. Solid head kick. Derecki knee right hand. Derecki's a lot of problem here. You know, he obviously lost the second round. He really did come back. It may not be a 10 8 due to the knockdown, but it's definitely going to be at least a 10 9 where he lost it. And then he lost the first round, so now he's in a position where he's got to open up to, get, to finish this fight. The other problem here with Murat Derecki, and it's a common mistake that fighters will make against the fighter that likes to throw a flying knee as Nagimi does, is you'll see how flat footed Murat is. Whereas Nagimi moves a lot on the balls of his feet, so he's already, always ready to springboard and work those jumping knees, work those high round kicks, work the front kicks. Derecki is much more flat footed. It doesn't all go well for it. And it's why the left side of the face is being lit up so much by the right hand, because he's flat footed, he hasn't got the reaction time to get out of the way of the right hand of Nagimi. Wow, he almost, that almost looked like he closed his eyes and threw his four punches and completely missed. Referee again, cautioning Nagimi not to turn. The crowd is jeering Nagimi a little, as you'd expect, given that Jarecki is a Belgian resident. Nice right hand, left hook, and once again, Frank, that's what I spoke oh. about earlier. Had that been Kishenko, had it even been Sauer, Nagimi would have gone down. Yeah, it's over. That fight's over. What's happening now is that, as we're seeing with these guys that are losing these fights, and, and I think Nagimi's actually going to win this fight, is that as he gets later in the rounds, like their, their defense is dropping. And with guys like Sauer and Kishenko, that's the end of the fight. So, yeah, you survived the third round. It's a great fight, but obviously we get, we get starched. He's got to keep his hands up. He's got to get smart. Now that he's been yelled at twice for not turning his back, Nagimi's really getting torn up. Murata's stepping forward, getting off him, and understanding now how, how, I think he's kind of figured out what he can do to win. Unfortunately, I think it's a little bit too late, though. Curly right hand from Tarecki. Nagimbi looking a little fatigued now, breathing out of his mouth. The chance momentarily went up for Murat. Murat. Can he find something here, Murat Tarecki? Look at the punishment that the left side of his face and his nose has taken the Turk. Both men now throwing some sloppy salvos, both fatigued. Oh, nice knee. Murat did duck his way out of it, but I think it caught him just a little bit on the chin. Right hand from Durecki. But he's a spent force here. Final seconds of the fight. And, and it should be Chris Nagimbi who advances through to semi-final number two. Some damage under the right eye and on the forehead of Nagimbi. It'll be interesting to see how his corner crew go to work on those injuries during his short break. Tarecki. Three cuts on his face. Will not move through here. Yeah. Referee discautioning for the forearm across the throat. Not permitted under these rules. It was full tie rules that have no problem with it. Good right hand there from Gregorian. I should say from Turecki. Directly steps in so when he had his energy, he stepped in so heavy with those punches. I think he could have, if he had just a little more energy and didn't get knocked down the second, he might have been able to steal this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of this contest by unanimous decision. The winner from the red corner, Chris. No doubt about it, Chris Nagimbi is now on a six-fight winning streak dating back to 2009.